if you Tom, bre- if just I don't watch yourself. No, sorry, lads. <laughs> we've got, we've got a live. We're not going to make it to this live show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a pint and two shots. Coming to you from the G4 podcast studio with part-time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden and bringing a wealth of knowledge and questionable patter, it's our no-nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to a Big Two Shots, it's a podcast, it's a football podcast, we're live here at the G4 Claim Studios in Wisha in attendance, we've got Shell Suit Bob and Mr Christopher Toe and the Hello. champ champ himself, hello there, what are we saying to you? Mate, you're looking quite tidy today. Aye, Mate, don't do you know, feel it. Do you, know what you... <laughs> Shall you? do you know what you look like, man? What? Just like my big cuddly pal who's Aye. handsome. You do, man. I feel like a policeman. Uh, are you tapping out your red coat days with that one? Aye. Aye. No, this is my Scottish squad days, this is my oh, Scottish right. squad days. Yeah. And I've got my... PSG's tracky on. Oh, so Mbappe start. is gone. Mbappe's leaving. So he is. Where's he gone? Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell no, you wait, s- is he gone? I'll tell you. Is some... he gone to Saudi Arabia? No, he's oh. got to Real Madrid. <sighs> no, I'm telling you some. Oh, oh no! no! Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 It's just beautiful. He's got a Real Madrid, man. It's Why, beautiful. Man? Why would they know where to go there? It's the most celebrated club in world football. I just, Is that no Rangers? I'm just fed up with football, <laughs> I think, man. They could have signed for selling and I'd have been like that. Why? Uh, right. Do you want to just get into football right away this week? And get told the floor's yours, man. Right, right. Go, Toll, come on. Do you want an extra mic in for this? No, nah, man. I just did. I tell East, didn't I? Oh, Are you hey, serious? Oh, I know. I, hey, Crystal told me. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, they don't, they don't call me Crystal for nothing. <laughs> tell, tell you something, by the way, man. Toll told me this was happening a few weeks ago. In my Crystal ball. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, you were getting a bit of abuse you were saying about being so negative about your team. I know a guy on YouTube like that. Toll talks this amount of oh, about Sarah. Oh, language. So he talks this amount of kick. Mm. About, sorry, 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 I was just quoting How many guys. seconds are we in the we show? Two was, and a half minutes into the show. I was quoting the guy. By the way, well, just a heads up, and I know folk will probably go, oh, we should stop talking about the swearing, but we get demonetised if we keep our <laughs> thing wins, you know what I mean? Uh, so we need to watch. money off. <laughs> 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 and by the way, you better watch because we might get grass stone and all. There's plenty of grasses about. So. Aye, grasses. Aye, <laughs> snitches. Right, follows you as well. Come so on. Anyway, it's just that it's been, it's been a shit show for the start of the season. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Toe. Ben, I'm so sorry. I'm going to put you on my knee and scalp you, you wee bat. <laughs> you wee what? <laughs> you wee bat. <laughs> you wee bat. You wee baseball. You're not in, but I'm not. <laughs> I just wish I'd never said anything, man, because I'm really encouraging it now. Right. I, was, I was walking down the street the other day, somebody flung a baseball at me. <laughs> it's all right, I got it stuck in my nostril. <laughs> cow nose, man. Cow nose. <laughs> right, cow nose, the full shows. Nah, it's just, like I, like I say, man, watching them for the start of the season. Somebody, you made a good point to me, somebody made on Super Scoreboard, I think it was, I was at your pal or something. Uh, see, for the start of the season. Rogers has not taken... No, it was, it was Chris Sutton on Sunday so for the Rangers game. So it was bang on. He says... Rogers has to be held accountable for this. He has not improved one single player on that team this season. They've, they've regressed, if anything. It, mate, Kyogo is a story in itself. Mm. No, Dessers has got me a ghost. No. Oh, that's crazy. Uh-huh. That's mad. I mean, imagine if he's done have Kyogo. I know, we'd have 10 less goals. Well, we that probably with 10 9 each draws in. But, 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 come on, do you think there's a bit of an overreaction here for the Celtic fans? Don't give me up, man. <laughs> don't give me it. Right, see this sitting back, oh, it's an overreaction. No, it's not an overreaction. Right, Celtic should be better than Rangers. That's it. That's the bottom line. But see the thing is, right, see, this is where I go with your mob, right? The entitlement for your oh, mob is... Oh, is this your new word? Has it changed for Obsessed this week, aye? <laughs> oh, entitlement. Wow. This is That's all I have here, entitlement. Entitlement. I've got him, I've got him. No, but he's, he's a bit... Like, you've come out to simply the best. He's haven't been simply the best for about 15 years. Did we not win a league about two or three years ago? <laughs> I mean, he's still only simply the best. We were that year. He's never that year, right. fair enough. Right, so get up here. I know, <laughs> but, but no, there is like, I mean... <sighs> right, or, obviously, if you... Tom, bre- if, just I know, watch can't. yourself. No, sorry, lads. <laughs> we've got, we've got probably... a live... We're not going to make it to this live show. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is like, I mean... Right. I see where Grado's coming from, right? I would agree 
there's an overreaction on both parts of the old firm when one goes ahead of the other, right? When there's, I mean, some Rangers fans are getting carried away. We're only two points oh, ahead. There's still so much to play for. But when you break it down and you go, right, Rogers, what Sutton says is bang on. And when you look across the city, come on, is inherited a team who were seven, eight points behind. Players weren't performing. Now he's got the best at them. Exactly. Aye. Right. Do I know why? Because he's got the right sort of mentality. He's in there to make Rangers a better team. Mm -hmm. Brendan Rogers is in there to boost Brendan Rogers' profile. Narcissistical that, ego. That, that's my opinion. Aye. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's had a, a tough time down in West. He's done well first couple of seasons. He's come back up here expecting to walk in and do what he'd done before. Mm -hmm. And, and I said this to you, mate, if we win on Saturday, right, if we beat Hearts, we, five go, points, we go five points for you to kick a ball. Pressure's the on. The last time Rodgers had this kind of pressure, he jumped ship and went down the road. When Who's a Leicester manager? They need a new manager. <laughs> but, but by the way, Hearts are not... No, no, Naismith's mate, got Hearts, Hearts playing, they're flying, aren't they? Apart from us, they're the most informed team in the league, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that, we we're saying that's by Sunday night. Celtic could be top of the league again. It could else? easily go. Like, mm -hmm. Rangers could draw points. I mean, fingers crossed they don't. But that's mm -hmm. but it's exciting as well, isn't it? It's just a title race. Mm. It's just the first title race. You talk about a title race, Hamilton and Aki's. It's like O'Neill versus McLeish. It's brilliant, man. It's brilliant. What are you so angry for? Because it's what? That's how it's not swearing. Silly, a rotten. That's how beep. <laughs> you're beeping beeper. Yeah, you're yeah, beeping. Yeah, 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 you're bleeping blip. I mean, take mean, you yourself to beep, you're beeping beep. <laughs> so, yeah, too. But, so, the game on Saturday. Let's talk about were it. Were you watching it? Mate, see, for the last 25 minutes, it was like watching us in a Champions League game trying to keep Juventus. Kelly, wow. Ah, Kelly were on top of it, man. Yeah. Joe, Joe Hart had a great game yeah, on does, Saturday again, did. man. It's just a. a Do you think O'Reilly's heads went since the Atletico Madrid interest? That's another can we talk about Matt O'Reilly at oh, all? The can we talk about it you, man? The minute he gets any sort of interest in him, he's mm. seen it again. Mm. Since since the transfer window opened and he was linked with uh, uh, Atletico, Atletico Madrid. Madrid, he's no kicked a ball. But you're right, I think I've seen a lot of Celtic, well, heard a lot of Celtic fans saying on Super Scoreboard where he just does not look the same player. And Bernardo as well is regressed, Bernardo apparently. Bernardo has had three good games. Mm -hmm. The three good games he had, he was very, very good. So you can see mm -hmm. there's a player there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look interesting, and I think it's all down to the manager. I, mm -hmm. I really do. I think it's all down to so the manager. So, what happened when the when Kelly equalised? Did did Doug get it? I don't know, but I need a new Kelly. <laughs> right. Where did you do? Or did you just go? I just done a Brendan Rodgers and went. <laughs> mm. Did you did you shout into Sammy? I tell you, <laughs> I've been I've been telling the boys for weeks. <laughs> yeah, man. See, last week, last week did I not say? Celtic should win, but Kelly have been playing mate, really well. Why, so mate, why are you take but you know what bombing you up? Don't why you take me up? <laughs> Don't want you bomb me up. <laughs> Could I not fear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna back to football now. <laughs> when we used to win things. <laughs> No, I think bad half maybe we had that season. Aye, that yeah, was I good. Watching dance. I was talking about football. Can you see the baseball? <laughs> Did you watch the Rangers game on Sunday? Ah, uh, no. Wrestling, I was in London, so I only got to see this. What did I get to see? I got to see the first twenty-five minutes. Did mm. you? What was it? You so you were down when you watched the first twenty-five minutes? Aye. How did your toe hold up? <laughs> How was your toe? Oh, my. my toes sore. Yeah. Tell a story. Uh -huh. Tell a story. Well, the guy's got to be listening, he'll probably be delighted with himself. Which nah, he's not, he's actually noise. I can't remember his name. He's uh, a nice guy, but he um, he picked me up when I was at Gravity on Saturday with the Waynes. He picked me up in a fireman's carry and then he put me in the ground. I said, don't be doing this, don't try this at home. And Tell I come down what? and put my tea in, it's black and blue. I'll bet you any money that's that guy for the, the hang me. The, uh, he, he's a lovely guy, but... Wally Crew concert that slide tackled me, but he's the same guy. <laughs> that didn't happen, but didn't it? Ah, not that. Did that. He, he brought a sign to the wrestling man saying... He was walking to the swimming pool and banged his toe off a stair. <laughs> Who was? Yeah. No, I was check, in gravity, check, I was in the trampoline. Checking to see if I could swim. Get your touches in there, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can win. I saw right, So, how did your toe hold up with wrestling? Because that I was fine, mate. Come on. Are you going to do a lot of moving anyway when you're in yeah, wrestling? Come on, stun in the middle. But you were, feed, you were wrestling a guy that runs at about a million miles an hour. He was, he was a, he was a heat case, but it was a, night, it was a nightmare going to the show. Because, right, he came out of sight with me. I'm very. Lazy. Aye. 
But especially getting back to promoters and stuff yeah, like that. I've been, I've been at a show what Gredo's been on, right? Mm-hmm. He's due to come out in five minutes and we've had to go and wake him up in his motor. <laughs> oh, you've no. Mate, was, was, that, was, it, go? was that the one at the garage? Was that, was that the one at the garage? I remember you told us that. You, was that the one at the panel or something? I can't remember. It was, but, it was. It was, you just come out. I mean, I, I've always been grafting doing two shows. But so. I thought, I thought, I just was like, you. I can't believe this because I was, my flight was at seven in the morning. I left the house at the back of five. I got to 15 minutes before Glasgow Airport and my motor just went oh, Engine me. failure alert, parking brake failure, my heat light, everything went off, man. And you I went- It was your dashboard like a puggy. <laughs> everything just went <laughs> And I went, this promoter is never gonna buy this. <laughs> the boy who you know, I, I was like, ah. Uh, I, I, I was like, I need to FaceTime. And it was like five in the morning, man. This big, big promoter man, poor lying in his bed. He's like, hey, I was like, mate, look, my car's fucked. Like, I'm going to try and make it time, mate, but it's still looking good. And he's going, oh no, mate, you're lying in the front, mate. You're lying in the front, you're advertised, mate. That's why like, it's card subject to change. Correct. Then the poll has come. Polis were brilliant, man. Polis were great, but they're getting all that. Hey, what's going on here? Where's the cameras? <laughs> <laughs> they were yeah. brand new. Yeah, by the way, we're being punked here. Where's the cameras? Wait, now, is that me, Davey, by the way? Go to those you fights, me, Davey, by the way. So, mate, but the polis were brilliant. But I had, to, I had to leave my motor and I got a lift into Glasgow Airport. Um, I managed to get a, another flight. Mate, sure life. It's me. It's, it's constant, man. It's just it, honestly running up to the desk. I was maybe on a flight. I was, Aye, I was flight staying on that. Were you getting on that? I staying on that. Well, you know, when I went to the, the BA bit, you know what I'm like? I ended up putting on the old charm and all that because uh, they were like, oh, how can I help you, son? I'm going, I've had a bad morning. I've had a bad, bad morning. Oh, tell me. Ken, just to kind of, uh, yeah, obviously, right. so cool. That's the point. Uh, and uh, I, so they got me on another flight. And then uh, I was coming out, I saw, what's her face? Did I tell you that? No. F- uh, Tibby. Michelle Keegan and Mark Wright. No. Did you? Did you don't know that? Did you tell us that? Yeah, they were right by me. You sent them? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I was trying to take photos of them. Did they recognise you? No, no, but I was trying to take photos of them. I'd stay falling hot about them now. Big fan of your work, Chris. Um, uh, yeah. 24, mate. Come on, man. <laughs> so I, I managed to get to... Heathrow. I don't even care, man. She's my favourite. She's my favourite. He's a hat. She is good. Aye. 7.3 million falls has she got in this He's a handsome man as well. Uh Very handsome. Good football player. He was a good football player. Uh, So I got down there. Then, wait till you last with you. you, you, That's what I know you. So. He's met the ultimate warrior, hasn't he? (laughs) No, just the way I go in with folk. He's a fan. For doing that neck of the woods, right? Lovely guy, right? But. He's been pestering me you to, to me. Well, <laughs> because because I'd missed my flight, I'd missed my lift into London, the middle of London. So this guy's been pestering me, going, let's meet up for lunch and all that. I've not saw him in like five, six years, lovely guy, right? <laughs> so mate, listen to this, right? So mate, I'm like, mate, can you pick me up for Heathrow Airport and take me to Hangway? He's like, I'll be there in 15 minutes. So mate, this cunt turns up. Oh, He's like, ah, sorry. This guy turns up, man, he's like, right, I've ordered this a new... <laughs> No, I just he, he just came out of his house to go and meet you to order an Uber. I mean, I was so I was like, oh no, man, I could do this myself. Jump in an Uber. Oh, and then it's like, it's like the morning, he's a lovely guy, you know that. How did you get near this? <laughs> Can I wait? I just couldn't be asked. Is he's he, gone, how did you get certain wrestling again? I'm just, going, is he just a punter? Well, aye, aye, aye. He's got a wrestler or something. No, he's a punter that wants to meet when he's used them because he thinks he's got a motor. Aye, listen, mate, why come pick me up? Why bring his chicken tray mane and that? And you just sit in the taxi going, I started wrestling. I was like, mate, I'm not being funny, man, but I was like, I can't get into this. I was like, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, see, when you go to your destination, what happened to him? He hung a bit with me all day. He got me a five guys. Oh, speak five, five guys. guys. Oh, right. That was funny, but wasn't it? Mate, it was funny, right? Like that, that PLZ. Like, <laughs> come on. They've had a whopper oh, a week, right? They've a whopper. I saw what you've done there. I see what I've done there. So they've had, right, first of all, they've got Aaron Stubbs on, right? Saying, come on, it's not one anything. Right? Aye, and, that and then Gordon Parks. What the flip are you talking about, mate? I believe that's clickbait. I'm not buying it. I found it funny. It was funny. But I, think, I think it's an advert. I had I to, well, somebody said that. It's no rocket science here. They've had like 350,000 views on that clip. And they usually right. average 10,000. 
Aye. Know what I mean? But imagine how many Rangers fans are going to be standing outside that five guys. <laughs> and I wait to see if Tav turns up. <laughs> Mate, the best thing was he was going like, um, you know, Richard Golf and a. Uh, Barry Ferguson's out fighting both Bridge has to get beat 6 2. Exactly, they're the boozer. Aye, Never mind exactly. five guys. The thing is, right, the guy, he's not got the gravitas, he's not got the aura to be a captain. The past two games, he's got three assists and two goals. He's bloody in a title race, Aye, he's taking important penalties. How much gravitas does that take? <laughs> it's like a moan, man. What is gravitas? Like, I thought it meant something was free. That's gratis, isn't it? No, gravitas <laughs> is like how you care. Like, like, no, Aye, no, it's gratuity, is it no? Aye, it's, uh, that's gratis. Gratis means free, gratuity means a tip. Oh, I interview him now. Uh, certainly, he's not coming <laughs> on now. So do I. But I'll be the bad cop, you used to be the good cop. It's not funny we get him in, right, and we, when he turns up, we just give him hunters of five guys. <laughs> Aye, I can't wait to... Tell eating challenges today. Plus, he's saying he, it was an hour after the game. Come on, how are you getting for birthday? Mate, Let's get Bob, up. It's mate, a lot, there's a five guy, he's mate, halfway there. Turn it down, man. <laughs> Daily record. Next week, shell suit Bob and such and such shame. You know what I mean? <laughs> shell suit Bob and fat shaming. <laughs> <laughs> Not anything. Anything, man. I maybe cut that <laughs> Go to a paranoid now, I was enjoying that. No, it's funny you wrote <laughs> that. when you say something, me and him both go, oh, wait a minute, you mm. know what I mean? Because I, I, I text Hugh McDonald about the guy sitting next to him. He's brilliant. a lovely guy. He's amazing, where man. Did, where did we talk to him? He was on football, Dad. Oh, he no, was on football, five guys. No, but, no, but we're on off the ball with him, I think. So we were, it was Aye. off the ball. He's brand new, He's man. He's a brilliant guy. Aye. Nice guy. But yeah. you could tell, he was sitting on his head. What are you talking <laughs> about? I know. I know. Oh, I know, it's just like, sometimes, People need to realise that once something's out your mouth now, there's no taking it back. It's not for everybody to see, do you know what I mean? It's drink it, drink it, drink it after that, but he was like, ah, pure, just going, shit, I was talking ah, to you. Ah, mate, it's good. Leave it in then, don't you? Ah, baby, ah, yeah. Oh, I think it's live, though, isn't it? I'll get some views. I thought it was funny, man. I like Peter Martin. I like Peter Martin. Peter Martin's he's hilarious. 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 Somebody try, somebody try to do that in the garage the other day, right? We're standing in the queue. This guy came in and went, I'm up for an iPhone charger. And the guy went, they're finished. <laughs> and the guy went, Some, somebody went, no, he's <laughs> just only 29. <laughs> 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 an anti Amy joke in the Q8 in Kilmarnock garage, it was hilarious. Uh, I was like, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, anti Amy. That's a belter. Uh, <laughs> but the guy that was asking for the iPhone camera was like, What are you talking about? Is there an iPhone camera? He's a left for press for care. Oh, man. Hi, live show. Live show. 11th of May this yes. year. Tickets are going well, but they're running out, by the way. Pavilion yeah, Theatre. Pavilion the link yeah, is in the description. Yeah, yeah. Get your tickets now. There's loads of things that are going to be happening on that show. It's going to be great. I, oh, interesting hey, to see hey, what, hey. what day it's going to be in I terms of when it comes to the Fitbit and stuff like that. That's very... I'll tell you something right now, right? I'm going to make a bet, please. Mm-hmm. you got to say Rangers will be champions, but then. If Rangers are champions. Oh, wow. Right? right. By the time we do the live show, I'll dye my beard blue. I bet you right? do. But, right, hold on. But... If Celtic won it, I'm not dying my beard. Nah. No, you've got to shave your head. I'll do that anyway. On the stage. Oh no, that's bang, f- bang. language, language. Oh. No, 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 that's 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 been um. Oh. Right, well, I tell you what, you don't need to do that. We'll come up with something for you to do, right? We'll come. Aye, we can come up with something. Yeah, in fact, you can probably come up that, with it, and he's only going to be doing it anyway. That's um, that's I hate we get my head shaved. That's when folks start saying I look like a tatty. And I'm remembering, did you see Clinton Baptist we, we won uh, with Alan Brazil last week? Oh, it was hilarious, man. No, he was trying to fire into Alan Brazil, right? And Alan Brazil couldn't take it. And he's, he, I can't remember what he said. He was like, humans are built of 100% love and such and such, but you, Alan, you're, you're built 65% potato. <laughs> Mate, he was facing up. He couldn't take, take it. He couldn't take it, man. No. I was like you two minutes ago with the say again. Mm. Shut up, right? <laughs> Was he yeah, was he biting? Uh, it, was, it was like he kept it was weird, man. It was like he just was like he didn't he, he didn't get Clinton Baptiste. You know who you who he mm. is? The, I'm I, getting the words. I know who he is, but I've not really seen any Mate, stuff. Mate, it's man. hilarious even he's on talk sport, he's dead funny. Aye. Aye. That sounds great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Up to him. <laughs> oh, I watched a good film the other night. Did you? It's called Dream Scenario. Nicholas Cage, look it up. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Just really look good. it up and watch it. It's really, really good. good man. Is that a new man? Caught, caught me off guard. It came out in November. Oh, all right, right, right. <coughs> caught me off guard. Didn't expect much for it. I was tuned right in, man. I really enjoyed it. Never mind that. Have you secured all your burner accounts? Cow knows 1690. <laughs> <laughs> Cow knows 1690. <laughs> Cow knows Watapa. <laughs> <laughs> 
iPad, iPad ko. <laughs> I mean, man, come on. I mean, do you think? Wow. Jack drink, drink mix, all right, man. Mate, I feel... Oh, Christ. I, I, I feel like I'm talking that. about, man. Jinky's all right. I, I imagine getting rumbled like that, but, but you know, because, I mean, the, the that, count was deleted right never, away. That's never show your face. It's bad enough losing two jobs in the one season, and then your burner account's been... <laughs> On the flip side, how many millions of pounds has he made coming out of your jobs? Do you know what I mean? I know, I know. I know. But it's one of them. Money is the other thing, Graham. Rift of the week. Rift of the week. Right, here's the thing, right? Sponsored by Player ID. What? <laughs> what? What motive? <laughs> <laughs> if you need development, <laughs> online coaching. <laughs> if you want your falls to go up. What, what motivates a manager not to be a failure when they're getting paid for failure? I know, I know, that, that's mm. kind of, I mean, if you get the Chelsea I mean? job, you know you're set for life, aye, even absolutely. if you do well or not. Aye. I mean, aye. How, many, how many times is, say for example, our dice or that, mm. how much money must they have made after they get sacked? Mm -hmm. aye. It's crazy, isn't it? See, there's no other walk of life where that can happen. Like, and, and, and the fact that you can... I work and get sacked, I don't get the rest of my contract. Mm. And you also don't walk into a job right away as well, which can happen with managers, which happen with Bill. Oh, sacked and then within a month he's away another. Did, did <laughs> Right. Jim Goodwin. Mm, exactly. Like conveyor belt of failure. But mate, I, I, I definitely don't think he's not going to be the first and he's not going to be the last person that's got a burner account, right? Mm. But to no have that stitched up, to no go, right, man, aye, what a man am I? And the stuff that was being tweeted. Mate, that, like, like, I mean, what was the one where it was like, if Celtic can beat Rangers. Record uh, points under Michael, Michael Beale. Beale. It's like, oh my, it's crazy, I think he man. is. I think he is one of these folk that's obsessed with the internet. See, what mm. see one of right, these guys that's never off Instagram and Twitter and all that. Rangers record points all under Michael Beale. They still never won the league. No, I know that was the that's point he was trying to highlight. That, that's the point right. he was making, but right. saying how Beale got them, got them their points, but Celtic could still not I mean it was. Was Beale wasn't even there a full season, was he? No, oh. he was there for the. Hey, so what's he talking about? Half of the points for Van Broncosts. He's a. Yeah, that's at least he's worrisome. Zoomer, man. Honestly. Language. Sorry, he's a fucking Zoomer guy. But also, do you know, like, even just watching, like, because that is an intense job to get, looking at that sundown until I die, oh, man. Well, that's like a unique... There was three episodes or six. I know, I know. Do you know why? I was talking about this in the office. I turned there's, it off after the second there's, episode. There's no drama. The night, there's no drama, no. mate. The, no. Previously, they were getting relegated. Why? There was all Martin Bain, Bain being like David Brent. See, this time? Aye. See, this time, just they've got... They've got a multi-billionaire mm. owner. Mm -hmm. they, they've got fairly consistent with the manager. Mm -hmm. They were doing well. I've got one episode there's, left. There's, there's no drama like that. Aye, mate, there's no... Because it's... I know... Because the other documentaries... Like the other documentaries, they've not got the... Inside the dressing room and I all remember that. remember the... The bit with the... He would have been gold, didn't it? I remember the new chairman and all that trying to make transfers in the 11th hour. Aye, the Will Griggs. Don't Grinks. give him any more than 700,000. Next minute, 4 million. Aye, you want to ask him man. Real, man. I, reckon, I reckon there was a kind of talk about that being like... It's two. We'll do in our series, but you're, you're not allowed good. in the dressing room. Your access is not. limited. Aye, aye. What's the point, then? I know. I know. I know. The so Newcastle one was what? No, no. Newcastle one was rubbish. Nah, the, Tottenham, the Tottenham one was great. I love that. The Arsenal one was outstanding. The Arsenal one was good. Is it? There was a event. The Hearts one was good. I've Remember, there was a Hearts one. I've not watched that. It was man. on BBC. I heard oh, it was all right. Do what kind of were they in the Premiership or was it? it, it, it was, the I can't even remember. No, do you remember the Hearts one? Was Gary, Gary Watt was quite prominent. In it. I don't understand why teams don't do it themselves. Do you, do you ever remember the one with Ron Atkinson? He was into Peterborough or something. Yeah. No, that was on. Mm. That no, 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 no. I was on Sky One. I remember that. I've not seen that. I remember that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I need to see that. I've not seen that. See, just what was that called again? Ron Atkinson, football manager. Or something? It was something like that, wasn't it? He went to Peterborough, and it was all like. Mm. And they take over Because it was after Fry? the carry on ways. Or was he before Barry Fry? Barry Fry's in it. Aye. Yeah, that's right. Mm. He, he never went in as manager, Ron, didn't he? Not did he not go in as the the like a the chairman or something or the. Football director, sport director. Sorry, who knows? Fucking who See knows? when the manager's getting payoffs. Mm -hmm. Jose Mourinho is the manager who's made the most money from getting sacked. For Roma. Oh, wow. Roma. No, like no, just overall, overall, over the course overall, of his career. Do you want to guess how much money he's made from getting sacked? 250 million. No, no, as much as that, man. You've just ruined it. Ah, you've ruined a wee bit too high, so. <laughs> I went to him too high there, mate. 40 quid. I'd say about 80 million. I'd say, I'm going to say 27 million. 93 million oh, wow. just from being sacked nearly 100 million for being crazy, sacked in his job that's mental right, mate and then you're hearing about Rochdale right Rochdale are basically saying 
Aye, <laughs> right, right, right. I'm not making money. No, but uh, but then you've got a, a, probably a club that's uh, no, good I with know. the community I and know all this. Saying, uh, and there's yeah, managers yeah. getting 93 million there doing GoFundMe's. They've got three months to raise so many thousands of pounds. That's a very good point. Aye, are, they, right. are they struggling? I didn't know that. Aye. Speaking right. of raising money, speaking Benko, of raising money, Benko, let's take the floor is yours, Ben. Uh, so speaking of raising money, the Scottish disabled team are looking to get to the Euros. They're trying to raise money to fund that trip. Uh, so they started like a just giving GoFundMe page for people yeah. to get them to the Euros. So oh, we so, can get that sorted. Uh, uh, we'll put the link in the description for that as well. Link in the link if you is want there. To support link that. is there if you want to support Mate, that. That's funny, man. Let's see that. Do you watch Kill Tony still? Did you see the big fat guy on it on Monday? I did, die. He was about 60 stay and he was like, look, the doctors have told me I've got, I need to get this operation, I've got any money for it. Really? I need $16,000. And Tony went on the podcast, he says, we'll put a wee link. 16? And it had been up for about three years and they didn't bother. Aye. Who's that, Kill Tony? Kill Tony, yeah. Who's, who's podcast's that? Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's. Hey, it's good, that. Are you not, not I've showed you, it's the guy, it's the one where they got and they've got 60 seconds to do a stand-up. Stand up. It's good. Bro, that's mate. terrifying. It's bro, mate. He, he put it on John Pan. Is that the guy? Did he do it in front of a panel? Aye. I aye. have seen that. That's, that's good, man. amazing, mate. Some of, it, some of that's close to the bone, is it? Aye, cool? aye. Remember the boy you put on John Pan and he had that pure quirky. Oh, that he was. He was brilliant. Aye, I can't remember his name or not. He was really good. But, man. mate, the, the, the best ones are the ones that aren't funny because they just get ripped. It's aye. funny. It's like aye, watching X Factor for the. Aye, he's brilliant on it all the time. There was a comedian who came out, was crap. They were roasting him and all that. And then he tried to roast back. And that uh, way, it just. You know, oh, that way, it just. Winged in. And aye, aye. you could see they were even kind of like, I actually feel sorry for you. Aye. 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 It becomes a liberty, man. Aye. That's what you call taking a water pistol to a gunfight. That I tell is. you, I know what I know what um, I'm probably speaking about other podcasts here, but I tell you what, I saw some clips of Hugh Dallas on the Glasgow podcast. I wish we spoke to him, man. I work with see Gary that, that does the Glasgow podcast. I work with him. I tell you, aye, aye, I used to uh, yeah, I remember you said that because I was on it once and they said you. He still, he's still hanging. He's, still... Mate, he's I watched ten minutes in with Hugh Dallas and I was like, ah, he's good at us. He's, he's a brilliant, a brilliant interview. interview. We interviewed Ben Crofty once, you know. What? I think that probably I'm maybe talking too much here, but. I think that comes from the job that he does because he interviews people for... Oh, does he? For he's, a really, he's a really nice guy, man. Uh, he's a great guy. Do we plug for that and all then, Glasgow Podcast? Glasgow Podcast, there's a wee plug for you. G-L-A-S-G-O. Yes, Glasgow. 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 Oh, I need to give you a shout out as well because I'm getting my... getting my care done. I was watching a clip he was talking about how Hugh Dallas was talking about... Um, what? Oh, I missed that, yeah. Uh. Stephen, Stephen was... Yeah. Stephen tried to... You're, talk. A, you're an England beep. What did I do? I mean, no, like, I need to give you a shout as well. I remember he had, had me finished his story oh. yet, but... No, he's standing up, man. No, it's the but same one. He's talking to Alex. Hey, when you go there, give you a shout. Give you a measly shout. I, I, I need to hear about your garden man as well. Right. My what? My garden man. Your garden man. What are you talking about? What's his name? Gnome. We Gnome. We Gnome. No, that's why I give you a shout out to Alana at Grass Direct. Because I'm getting fake grass and I'm getting my garden done. And she is... Disney miss an episode. She loves she the not? podcast. You're a brass name, How much is she paying us? No, mate, she's oh, not right, paying okay, us. Cool. Right. She's, not, she's <laughs> not paying <laughs> us anything, but I'll tell you something, he's not paying them anything either. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to. <laughs> All right, yeah. Alana. <laughs> Alana, how you doing? There you mate. go, there you go. Nah, you've ruined the Hugh Dallas story. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. What was the Hugh Dallas story? Yeah. He was talking about how he was playing in a game. I think it was maybe the three each game. He was playing One was going to be... Was he playing it? He was wrestling. Aye, he probably ah, was playing in it. <laughs> he was playing it again. No, he actually. He started pulling under his ref uniform. <laughs> well, 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 this is what he was saying, right? Van Hoydonk's on a booking. Your favourite player. Scores. Scores <laughs> a goal. Scores a goal with Cedar. Goes right into the Celtic can. Right in. Dallas is like, I don't want to send him off. He's like, it's in the rules. He's already in a booking. I'm going to turn, a, I'm going to turn around and run away. And he went, he went, after the game, the police come up to him and Campbell Ogilvy for Rangers come up to him and went, well done for no sending off. Because the play, it would, it would aye, have been a complete aye. and utter, it would have been a riot. It would have been a riot. It would have been coins coming for every direction. Yes, mm. and it was just, it, would, it was all I saw and I thought, interesting. Mike, Mike, did they talk, did they talk no. about his emails? Mm, I'll probably get to that. Aye. I'm going. I might listen. I'm going to listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike didn't tell a story about that where I see the Aguero. Oh, the, the it's a pure goal. shite rule, isn't it? But Aye, it's but like I see, the, Sorry. see the famous Aguero goal. It was like he was already in a booking. He should have been sent off for taking his shirt off. Now, the free two game. Aye, he went he, QPR. He went. I just couldn't do it. No, nah, you, you just couldn't do it, man. I imagine the, the joy at the game. Imagine man. the the euphoria in that game's iconic. Imagine after all that. Well, well, it's funny you say that because do you remember? I know. Well. 
I'm talking about Celtic and all that, right? But Scott Brown scored the winner against Kelly, 94th minute at, at Rugby Park. Mm -hmm. And he done that, same thing, jumped like, into the crowd and sent off straight away. Did it not happen to Halliday? Happy Halliday, Hall Hall for nothing. But Brown knew he was getting sent off and he just laughed. He knew he was coming, mm. but that, that kind of takes the joy. Did he get sent off aye, again, Brown? Aye, he got sent off, aye. Right, right after he scored the goal mm. in Hingway. It kind of takes the joy out of the game, you know what I mean? It's a, you're in a title race, it's the 94th minute. You scored a goal that gives you a valuable three points that you really need. And you're obviously going to celebrate like mad. I think jumping into the crowd, I don't think, not, not jumping into the crowd, I mean, see, like when you go to the crowd, yeah, 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 I yeah. shouldn't be about in my eyes. I remember. Remember Adi Bayo when he scored for Man City? Ran the full length of the pitch to the Arsenal fans. <laughs> yeah. Who's the other one? Uh, Seville, when Porto scored one of their goals against Celtic, the full Porto team ran, ran away past the, the running track. It caused the game about five minutes delay. And the referee only booked the guy that scored the goal when the full team was at the crowd. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's you scored a goal in a European final. It's justified to share aye, a little help. Aye. Suarez yeah. had that one in the Merseyside derby where before it Moyes he called him a dive diver. in front of Moyes. Moyes aye. went, he's a diver, aye, and then aye. he scores and runs right at him and goes out and dives aye. like a fish. Mm. Who was that? Suarez, because Moyes was giving him dogs abuse to build up to the game. I mean, he scored, they ran right here. Remember, did the man? He made his debut for Inter Miami last night, didn't he? Did he? Who did Suarez? Suarez, I think so. Aye. What about what about that clip? Have you seen that clip of Messi for the game last night? No. He's no. outside the box, and there's a one of the opposition players is down injured, like on the pitch, and he goes by his man and flicks the ball over the guy who's on the <laughs> ground, and then hits. <laughs> That's brilliant. Literally on it, literally on it as he said that. That could not have been more condescending, man. Literally on it in the middle of it. Oh, Sorry, so anyway, man. this is a pint and three shots. <laughs> oh, come, come on. on. Come on, Benny come boy. You know I love you. God. So you anyway, Ben. Stuff? No, I, I, I went to my bed last night at the back of five, and then I was up at the back of 12. Yeah, you've got a ticky tummy, haven't you? A ticky tummy, again. So oh, okay. I'm well, sitting you on the couch. Oil, Mate, the CBD oil, I honestly, I left it because my motor is in the compound, the post compound. My CBD oil was there. So, you know, I've not been able to use CBD oil Scotland, which is great for your belly. Really Any is. dicky tummy, cbdoilscotland.com. Big sponsors of the show, www.cbdoilscotland.com. I've got a lot going on with CBD oil. Do, remember, do. if you go on uh, any purchase you make, mm -hmm. use the code EURO24 to get 50% off and entry into a draw for tickets for Scotland versus Germany. 14th of June, Allianz Arena, Munich, Germany. The link Beautiful. is in the description. Two tickets could be yours for the opening game. That's a great prize. Ah, it's <laughs> a great prize. We've had a lot of talk in the Discord as well about the CBD oil. Aye. Um, folk getting the gummies, folk getting the oil, folk getting the rubs and stuff like that, and everybody's swearing <laughs> by it. Every, everybody is, is swearing aye, by it. Aye. So, you know, we're no, we're no in the habit of punting <laughs> gimmicks. Language. So get yourself some CBD oil at cbdoilscotland.com. Do is it now. Promo, oh. Is there a promo code? Yes, the promo code is Euro 24. With, uh, Euro 24. Like, yeah. a, like I said a minute ago, Graham. He did say that. I'm right. sorry, mate. Uh, aye, aye. Also, we've got a wee shout out, actually. Um, <laughs> right, it's Scott Alexander. Um, he says, Scott Alley from Livy, the top Celtic supporter in Livingston. He is a CBD Oil Scotland patron due to the podcast. So, Scott, thanks very much for your custom and see you next week. There we go. That's a lovely yeah, wee touch. That's a nice wee touch there. I have a lovely wee touch. Yeah, so, I mean, wee personal touch. Mm. I've got a wee personal touch. I'd like to take a oh, wee second. You're not going to take me for dinner first. No, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm quite happy with what I seen the other day because I seen a photo of a mate of mine, right? And yeah. he was on a plane right. to Belfast. Okay. And he looked as if he was wearing a cagoule out of the some sort of cagoule shop, forestry <laughs> shop, right? <laughs> It was massive, and this is only a few months later, and the guy looks tremendous, and I have to say, Ben, the work that you're doing, mate, is unbelievable. See the change in you over the last few months? It's incredible, man. Oh, was it <laughs> no Ben Coe's birthday all day? Yes, it was. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Benko. Happy birthday to you, 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Just watch the way you talk to me sometimes, and remember you're only 25. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs>
Just make my job harder this week, mate. <laughs> right. Honestly, I seen the forties. And did you see the forties? That forty to him on that plane. Oh, but it shows you the difference for your real oh, mate, It's incredible. Oh, man. It is like night and day. It is. You, I thought that was one of the blankets that they gave him on the plane. Again? Megan. Megan's one lucky girl. Well, I know the bad news, but you put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it does. Only happens if you've not got the discipline. I, I think you will. It'll keep, it'll keep half you know. Age twenty five. That's your nah, puppy fat. Probably give him about thirty. He'll put it up. Aye, aye. 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 I think he's thirty, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm what is that. wrong with you today, man? That's <laughs> evil. Every she's there. Pure grin. <laughs> so why? God, have a cheek, man. Come on. Pure you know what I'm saying? Sitting here vaping, man. I've, no I've, mate, I've, I've managed to grab myself something that's going to help me in my weight loss journey. <laughs> I bought a deep fat fryer yesterday. <laughs> I was going to say that. Mate. He's like, I'll tell you more. No guy say how much you spent. Spent a bomb in at B&M. I'll day. tell you what I've done, right? I went into B&M because I've got a Virgin Media Box, right? And I didn't have an HDMI cable. I went, do you know what? I'll jump down to B&M and get an HDMI cable. Went in. Picked up the HDMI cable. Six quid. I was like, right, now, bossy. By the time I got to the till. Oh, aye. £350. Oh, Many cans of Vimto, but did you buy? <laughs> two, two bottles of Vimto. <laughs> Four, six packs of oysters. Aye, uh, drumsticks. <laughs> Mate, it's not a like Daddy's brown sauce. I bought a karaoke machine. I bought... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, coming on, this time you tell me, right? The that have discontinued for 20 uh, years. Money mints. <laughs> <laughs> mate, see the hang is, I, 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 alarm clock. Mate, <laughs> see the hang is, but I trust you with 300 pound and being them. Ah, right. you would go to town. You'd man. be my guy, man. 300 pound worth of class. That's <laughs> it. Come up the road with me. Aye. The wee KP stick kings, not you. Hang with the chocolate. We were making chocolate. Aye, man. Remember chocolate? They were always with adults, hud. But when I was, I mean, you, you ever get sweeties like that? that you think? Do you remember the? They were like adult sweeties, like munchies, and that. Like hard candy fags. Aye, oh, mate, mind them. Oh, they were clapping. Remember, you feel your teeth falling out when you're in my frosties. Frosties. Aye, mate, they taste like red cola. They cola cubes. What happened oh, to them, man? man? They were the berries, weren't they? See, whenever, you like, back, I mean, if ever your ma's pals would come round and they'd bring you sweeties, aye. Mm-hmm. that's always frosties, 10 pence a packet of brown one. I remember my mum used to come to my but every Wednesday with a sweetie, and I remember one time she never came with a sweetie, and it was like, I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> was it one of your fake annies? <laughs> no, she went. She didn't get that for. <laughs> get that for in my life. She came every Wednesday. I used to remember just even standing at the front door waiting on her coming every Wednesday. I'm getting a sweet. I'm getting a sweet. She I forgot dug. one day. She didn't. Aye, she, she never even mentioned that line. Never come said in was for she... parties all the time. Auntie social. <laughs> 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 yes. Sorry, I had to think that one. Oh, I was like, I'm older. Do you know what sweet? It's just funny because it actually was a retro suite the show used to bring. What? Uh, Vice Versus. Oh, Vice oh, Versus, man! Oh, man! Honey! Hey, well. Come on, man. Frosties, but that's taking you back, isn't it? I know. I love Frosties. Frosties. I did love them a lot, mate. Mate, I love 10 pence mixers. Aye. Ten, remember when they stopped being 10 pence? That's when the game Aye. changed. Sometimes but did you know just pay What van you went to? Like mm. You get a van where it gives you a right. Hefty 10p mixer. I get a 10p mixer now with the big jelly faces Aye. in it and all Aye. that, man. Oh, how good were they? Malik, Malik, Flumps. that was my van. Malik, Malik, Malik was a man. Mine was uh, Joe Davy, Davy Wilson. Hello. Oh, what one he's have dropped one? Not me. Not me, man. Not me. Thank you. Uh, Saw that protein he's taking. Hi, <laughs> it is. Mm. Oh, I finished. I, mate, you need to get back on Ken. Oh, I need to, mate. I know. Tell me. Have yeah. you watched that? I've only for for the episode of the first series. Are you, mate? Oh, okay. I've not dropped Your nose man. is too near to your ass. Cow, cow nose. I think my nose is too near my top lip. No, I finished Ken. I finished it the other night. Oh, but Blood by the way, they're not, they can't make another third series, you know that? I heard they're making it. No, apparently it was in the papers yesterday because they cause all the actors are that busy in the next couple See, of years. that's the thing. And that's because they're all the stars. Was Barry Kew on it? No. I thought Barry Kew no. was on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> You Mate, make me laugh, sometimes man. you just say sometimes things, you just things that are funny, man. Please. I can't, I can't say that. Somebody is that funny. That's stinking. Who's fucked up? Ben's got shorts on. It's definitely him, man. It's definitely me. But anyway. Uh, Have you ever used that gear that you take? It was called like Ali Oli or something like that. I need him. No. This is, I need him. <laughs> Where That's you got? Barking, man. Right, no, yeah, we still have. Right. No, mate. I want to say this, but we've ev- evacuated the studio, and yes. he's gone. Somebody's farted. Somebody's right. farted. We went. We both went out to get fresh air. And as soon as the door shut, and he's asking. <laughs>
<laughs> I swear to God, what that was not me in there. <laughs> it was not me. Have you got a wee dicky tummy as well, too? No, I've just not done my morning poop. Have you not? No. How could you leave the house, How man? Could you, it's now 20 past 12 and you've not done your morning poop. I know, it's because I was... Because I came off my shift late and... Are your curtains were all still drawn? Went, went to my bed. Was your ass muscles no relaxed enough yet? I hate that feeling. No, nah, my ass muscles are always relaxed. Mm. Mine's are, no, you never get that when they're all thick tight and all that and you kind of get it done. That's because you're trying to hold diarrhea all the mm. time. Do you take a cup of tea in the morning and all that? I mean, I, nothing crosses my lips before about half past three in the afternoon. Did you ever get a wee, did you ever get a wee cup of tea and a wee play, play, a, play a toast? We play a Abernathy's. Abernathy's? Do you ever do that, no? No, nah, not really. No. Do you ever have cereal? Aye. 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 Do you wear jammies? Cereal. Oh. What kind of jammies? Just jammies. Wait, with the trousers and all the wee tartan trousers? I had them on these wee pair of Uggs one day when I picked them up. Oh, did you? Trousers and... You yeah. got the Ugg slippers? <laughs> no, yeah, those, no, those slippers, but they're fur-lined, mate. They're comfy as hell, man. Aye. Have you got Crocs? No Crocs. I've got a pair of Crocs and I've got the Ugg slippers, eh? Oh, man. You got the Ugg slippers last year or something, didn't you? Aye. I wasn't I've the Ugg I've never been a slipper guy. It's always been sliders and that, but... Aye. In the winter, your tears get cold. Listen, <laughs> I hate putting the bin on, uh, putting the bin out with my sliders on. I go out and I always get my feet wet. Aye, that we binge, we binge just. Aye, it's one of my pet hates. Get even my even wet. during the summer, I hate taking the bin out. So the oh I no, that like. no, 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 come on. Wait, you don't like it? No, that's a man's job. That's I know, mate. I, I know, know that. I'm it. all over that. Aye, secretly. Like my bin no. out. Get back to mine. Secretly, I enjoy the recycling process. I've got one of the bins in my oh. kitchen. It's got the cardboard, the plastic, and your general waste. Yep. I'm muddled to keep in tap of that, but oh, I'm always, no. I, I don't get the difference between the purple and the blue one. It's all different colours and different you regions. Don't, I was going to say, we don't even have a purple we've one. Got a, we've got a green, a blue, a blue and green. And a brun. Yeah, See, that's it. confusing. No, it's not. I, I don't know if no. I tell you, I tell you I had to buy an extra bin, didn't I? I've tried to do that. Right, I had to buy an extra bin because my bin was good, right? But she made the high ones mm. like last week. Dad came right off it. Dad came right oh. off it, man. I can smell that now, by the way. It's whatever that is. It's, I think it's drainage from mm. outside. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think Grado's sitting there letting off and he doesn't even know. I'm not. No, but subconsciously you don't know. Oh, is he? You get there quite light. Don't say that. that. Don't say that. I know, your PSG track, he'll be ghost. <laughs> So, anyway. Anyway. I'm fed up. Have <laughs> <laughs> you got any, <laughs> any extracts for books this week? I like that weekend. No. Oh, it was a good no. weekend. I like I've that. not been well. <laughs> I've not been well. What's been the matter with you, my man? Just as I say, just a wee just kind of sort of tummy bug, eh? Just that kind of... Yeah. Uh, you've been on the toilet quite a lot. Aye. You'd have thought you'd have read some <laughs> books in it. <anyway>. Language. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's some effing books. Um, <laughs> and I've not even... I've not been eating as much as I have. You can tell. <laughs> you don't eat a lot, but... I do. You don't really... No, I do. You don't overindulge. You snack a lot. That's the game. That's the one. I, see, I, I, I need to tell Stephanie, you need to make sure that I have my dinner. Because see, if I don't have my dinner, 10 o'clock, man, you're talking plate of Cheerios, back at a crisp. Or just eat. Just eat. Mm -hmm. That's the killer, isn't it? I would be terrified out my mind to check how much money I've spent on just eat over oh, the last couple it's, of years. It's scary, man. It's scary, uh, isn't it? It's, it's like, so, so easy, but it's I know, so that easy. lockdown's got a lot to answer for, man. So uh, just, that's what you were always doing, and it's just trying to get the habit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's uh, like, You never got deliveries before lockdown, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not that ease. Not that ease, but it's like the other day, Stephanie bought the, see the, the short boat Pakora that mm -hmm. you can get in the chill bit, and there's only yeah. four or five bits. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tanned... What? Well, air fryer, of oh, course. Game, I tanned a bit, and I went, I went, oh, she went, oh, I want me that. We run around to Tesco and see if... There's me there, and I went, Tesco doesn't have that pakora. Sure as fate, I went round, no, nah, we don't do pakora. Where does it do? Just eat pakora, and I'll go and pick it up. It's it's heartbreaking. It's never ending, what? man. It's, I think it's a, it's a, it's a horrible affliction, because it's so easy. Me and Nicola sometimes go, like, just take away the weekend. It's all about planning, I think, it's isn't sometimes it? Sometimes, you've got two ways, Aye, you're mate. working. Do you know what the worst part is, because I do night shift? Mm -hmm. that's, very, that's tough, man. Very, Aye. very rarely do Sammy and I have the time to eat dinner together. Mm. So she'll make something for herself or when I get up or something, she'll say, do you want me to make something? And she just, out of pure laziness. Mate, I would, like, mate, oh, I would oh, come oh. off a night shift in a fire brigade and eat uh, mince and tatties and, all that, and mm. curries. Well, that, and... That's the thing because it, you, it turns your night into day. Mm -hmm. I've come off a shift and I've had like, aye, what you say, like, maybe steak. Aye, I'll have a supper. Aye. You know what I mean? It's mad. What about you, Ben? What do you do in the morning? Aye, what's your, what's your diet now then? I talk you through it, Ben. I usually <laughs> don't have breakfast. They say um, that's the most important one, didn't they? Oh, well. I usually don't have breakfast. If I do, it's like Weetabix. Mm -hmm. um, do you do, so em do, you do empty stomach cardio, Ben? 
Do I what, sorry? You do empty stomach cardio. Fasted cardio. Uh, not deliberately. Yeah. If that's what I do, that's not deliberately. Um, and then just like a bagel for lunch and then um, usually something mm. like my protein Aye, sort if, of meal. If Gredo's brought dinner. in a McDonald's breakfast wrap. <laughs> uh, well, I munched that. That was lovely. <laughs> uh, munched that last. You need to get half the menu the next day. Aye. The best wild. cereal kicking about the now is the chocolate crunch Weetabix. Well, that's because you have not tried chocolate brownie crave. Craves are... Oh, yeah, that stuff's too sweet for mate, me. Mate, come on. The chocolate, I've got an 11-year-old. chocolate brownie ones. I've got an 11-year-old and a 9-year-old. I've been through all the craves, man. All right, all the mate, my, my cupboard's full of cereal. Ah, same. Multigrain. Oh, mate. Doesn't I've even get, keep it in the box. I've just... <laughs> <laughs> I've got... Every, oh, cereal's a big deal, man. What's your right. favourite? Yours is Weetabix. The Weetabix chocolate crunch, looks like wee chocolate mm. chips on it. Chubs, chubs, wee chubs, chocolate, they're nice. My, my ultimate, but I can't have it. I can't have Cheerios because of my wheat intolerance, but I just, if I, I've said this, I've told you loads of mm. times, if I take Cheerios, mate, I'm no joking, it knocks me for six. You I'm, can't I'm, a full box of Cheerios, nae bother. I'm not a full box, but... but you could, yeah, pick the wheat dinner. ones, eh? Just have Cheerios, Cheery corn, Cheery rice, and leap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advert, I remember. Oh, I don't remember that. Cheery oats, cheery corn, cheery rice and wheat. Cheery four grain Cheerios, cheery good to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. That's a good The Cocoa Pop shells are good. Have you tried I've them? Tried they, them are good. they are good. They are good. I don't know how to do them. They are good. I was pulling them out last I can night. I feel if cereal's no chocolate, I, it's a bit wrong. I was pulling them out for the wings last night and I feel like an absolute pig. I'm actually eating them at the box. Oh, that's oh. What I do, with do you know, like, the thick wee ones? See, they kind of go to the grammy ones, and you get them, what are they called? Uh, Kellogg's wise, they're in the variety pack. They're kind of yellow boss. Corn pops. Ah, I like them. Corn pops. I like them. Are they still dating? I don't know if they I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Remember, like, that was always a wee buzz getting them when you were young and all, oh, at the variety packs. Oh, they've done, they done, like, they done away with icicles and all that. And all they've done icicles? Oh, brilliant. The variety packs have only got six boxes in them, the ones, the ones I seen in B&M last night. They're, they're, they're all doubles and all now, because you've no got like, your corn cold, pops and your rice right. logs. Uh, corn flakes, rice krispies. And if you're lucky, you'll maybe get a crunchy nut. Crunchy or nut, cornflake, aye. Crunchy nuts are a good, a good, That's a good cereal. That is a good cereal. Let us know your favourite cereal, guys. Let us know. Let us know <laughs> on the, the Patreon. If you want to sign up to the Patreon, sign up to that. You'll get extra content and you get mm. to talk to us. And you'll get to again. see our, our uh, cereal tasting video that we're going to do now. Uh, just an idea for it. All oh, right. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> right, it's time to give thanks to our new exciting partners. Yeah. First Point US. Yeah. Is yeah. that the world's leading sports scholarship agency you're talking about? Uh, yeah. indeed. Founded well, in 2001 by former Hearts and Motherwell footballer Andrew Keane, and he's also a Hall of Famer at the University of Cincinnati. Our staff includes for, former Scotland and Aberdeen goalkeeper Bobby Clark, former European Tour and Ladies Tour golfer Callum McCauley and Heather McRae, ex Queen A South manager Kenny Brannigan, former Hibs Aberdeen and St Johnson player. Stuart McCaffrey and Scotland Rugby International and Glasgow Warriors captain mm-hmm. Ryan Wilson. Right. So they've supported more than 35,000 young athletes for all around the world and they've gave them life-changing opportunities working in America at 2,500 different universities and colleges across not just football, there's plenty of other sports that they help with and they've secured more than 300 million over the years in scholarship funding. That's They're NCAA by the way, mm-hmm. NCAA certified so they've got partnerships with football clubs, organisations all across the globe, yes. Arsenal, Fulham, Partick. There's 18 different sports wow. that they, that they uh, provide scholarships for. So if you're into Kabaddi or something like that, get a bash. Kabaddi? Yeah. Get in touch with them say, is there any Kabaddi you need? Hey, you know What's Kabaddi? Kabaddi's an old, basically it was an old game of tig. It uh-huh. used to be on in a, a Saturday morning on Channel 4. I think I remember that. You used to run out say that. It was kind of like professional thing that we used to mm. talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's brilliant one. Yeah, but first point USA, their service provides a comprehensive package which takes prospective student athletes and their families through every stage of the scholarship journey, working with a dedicated team who share their own experiences and insights of collegiate sports in the USA. So we are going to be working closely with First Point USA. We're glad to have them as a sponsor. Yeah. Stay tuned because you're going to see loads of exciting stuff Coming up with First Point USA and a paint to shots the podcast. Get yourself on to firstpointusa.com. Right, so last Friday, right, get these sport, uh, scores out of the way because it was a big game in the championship on Friday. Oh, yes. Wraith Rovers came out 2 1 winners against the United, and did you see their goal? It was an absolute thruppney. 
It was a threatening. A screamer mm-hmm. by none other than Scott Brown. Mm. It was all right. <laughs> Shin roller. <laughs> Shin roller. <laughs> what, did you see this goal, Gredo? I know you probably didn't, but Wraith Rovers won it against the United at the weekend. What's that again? The United, uh, Wraith Rovers won it against the United at the Oh, weekend. mate. Never saw it. <laughs> Hey, language. Flipping. Flipping. Is that mean mini Ian Gordon now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but he'd be funny playing Ian Gordon. He'd be great yeah. yeah. to play Ian Gordon in a play, man. Wouldn't he? He'd be brilliant, man. What an idea. Oh, that's, oh, that's funny. That's happening. So moving on to Saturday. <laughs> and my jailer for the week, St. Mirren to beat Livingston. Did he have? Oh, I know. Levy of... No, I mean, right, that was a good result. Big three, three points. Big three they needed points. that, didn't they? And they St. Martin have been playing well. Mm. What about yeah. the whole thing with Robinson? With the fan? Did you see that? What's that? that? So he started having a debate with the fan, didn't he, at the end of the game. So Is that on the internet? Aye, aye. So aye. I basically think... I thought from the reports, what happened was this guy, this fan was getting him stick the whole game or whatever. It, it, let him know his thoughts. Mm. And at the end of the game, Robinson made a beeline for him straight to him. as like... Let's um, be having a harsh words with him, and then he had to get dragged away by Alex Kogic mm-hmm. and that. So. Scottish football at its finest. Yes, that kind of that tends to be the beginning of the end. I don't think. Mate, that. it's not. Do you know what it is? It's you. It's, it's that word again, entitlement. Mm-hmm. I think. I think so. Well, buzzword of the week. It's See? a buzzword of the week. Do you know? I think it's a bit of that. I mean, come on, Stephen Robson's um, done who? brilliant from the fan for the fan. Aye, huh? I, I, well, I, I don't know also, enough about it. But I suppose it could also just be. I think it's just a healthy, old-fashioned look. This is my opinion on what's happening. And Stephen Robinson, because it's a bit out of the ordinary, is speaking up, talking to the fan. It's a bit of passion. Aye. It's also just two points off top four. It's, it's better than that than going on. F- Twitter under another name. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's <laughs> also just frustration for Robinson. He's lost the game. Aye. It's a game he probably should be winning. He's a human being. Aye. That's it. Aberdeen 2, Hibs 2. Aye. Good game. Um, Hibs 2. Did you watch it? Aberdeen went 2. What was... Seen the, seen the, I seen the highlights. What's the Marshall thing? I missed that. Was that that game? He uh, kind of punched the... Punch of one point, it wasn't he? There was a big aye, penalty appeal for I that one. He punched uh, the off the heat, basically. And was there not another stone wall that didn't the, get looked at with Devlin? There was a handball and they uh, had to apologise to Hibs because it should have went to the screen and aye, they didn't and go it, to the screen. Mate, oh, that's big. Mate, it's blatant, but that's it's terrible, a but it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Mate, like never mind that. I know we're trying, I know we're moving to games and or Rangers, but how the hell did that referee not give that first penalty to Rangers? Oh. Straight away. Let's Aye, we didn't even talk about that. That is ridiculous. That is that. That, we, we mate, to to that referee had fear in his eyes. Aye, he did. He did. And he, you can see there's a close up of him hearing what they're saying. You need to come and look at it. And he's like, right. I mean, it's a. It's, it's a, 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 as much a penalty as you ever see, too. Aye, that I've is. Never seen it. I think a lot of the refs are just looking for Bart to bail them out. I think that's it now. Mm-hmm. The holding they know, their, the holding their horn. They've got that comfort blanket. Mm, so they know. Well, well, I'm just going to wait here and see what the draw is. Exactly. So, hang on, man. What about. What about Two seasons after you not know, having a referee anymore. Aye. Um, Dundee, two, Ross County now. Mm-hmm. Hearts, two, Motherwell now. Telling Celtic you. Celtic one, Coman It's got to be an interesting one. game mm-hmm. on Saturday. Do you know who's ticking along nicely? Dundee. Mm-hmm. Picking up points, man, there. Cheeky boys, mm-hmm. isn't it? Cheeky, cheeky boys. Cheeky wee monkeys. Are you cheeky wee boy? <laughs> Airdrie Orient. <laughs> Airdrie Orient. Oh, hold on. Airdrie, what are we doing here? No, I'm just going through the scores. Airdrie get beat off air, didn't they? Airdrie 2, Air 3. Mm-hmm. Then Fairman 1, Arbroath 1. Good result, wow. Arbroath. They're done. They're done. Uh, Inverness 3, Partick Thistle 3. Mm-hmm. I believe they were. Aye, it was. That was. Aye, was Cali Thistle no winning like 2 0? No. It was 2 0, no. then it was 2 each, then it was 3 2 to Cali, and then it was 3 each. Brian Graham got a couple of goals there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I met him at the airport. Come back for Tenerife. Lovely guy. Queen Spark now Morton now. Um week one, this is where it gets this, this is, is where it gets interesting. This is where, look at Ben, look at Ben. This, this is, is where it gets interesting. So uh Alla four, Cove Rangers one, big result for Alla, Anne and two, Sterling Albion one, mm-hmm. Emirates City one, Queen A South one. Here's the one. Mm. Falkirk three. Hamilton Academical two. Oh wow. Here's the thing though. <sighs> they were three Falkirk as well, were three they? up after twenty seven minutes. Mm-hmm. And Aki's what? nearly brought it mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. We yet the game? No, we never told. We never nearly brought it back. No, <laughs> right, so, so I didn't. We never nearly brought it back. I didn't I finish three two. Does the score? Does it not very nearly bring it back? Does the scoreline not reflect? No, no. The scoreline doesn't affect the game. Did Falkirk 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 should have been maybe four up in the first the first half an hour, mm. man. But they three obviously was three obviously was ridiculous. 
It's a good goal, the first one. The second one's ahead of a corner, but see, after that, mate, it was just... Nah. Listen, the league title was done a good while ago. Nah. I'm not even bothered about it anymore. That's just icing on the cake for Falkirk, isn't it? Callum Morrison getting a wee goal. Nephew of sponsor. Barry. CBD Oil yes. Scotland. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Montrose, your team. Went well. 4-2. Saw them pre-season. 4-2 victory against Kelty Hearts. They are flying, aren't they? Um, yeah, so, <laughs> I think that, I think League, League One's done and dusty, really, isn't it? I think it was done and dusty a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah. League, League Two, Bonnie Rigdose now, he's 5-2. Clyde 2, Dumbarton now. Oh, Elgin 2. Steny 2. 4-3, four, four, Peter Head 3. Strenard 1, Spartans 2. A lot of goals in League Two. There you go, there you go. A lot of goals. Yeah. Uh, and then on Sunday, we had Rangers 3, was it? So yeah. Johnson now Rangers three. So yes. Johnson now Rangers. Three. Put his two points clear at the top of the league. So Rangers now sit at top of the league. A better goal difference and better points. Yep. Better yes. manager. Better players. <laughs> <laughs> right. So good times. Let's get to it this weekend. Rangers home to Hearts. What are you saying, Greg? Oh, it's going to be. It's going to be an nail biter. If Rangers don't score within the first twenty minutes, man, I'll be biffing it. But Rangers it's going to be a good Rangers game. Will it's a three o'clock kickoff. Three o'clock kickoff. Sat old school Saturday afternoon. Oh, mate, maybe I watch your wrestling, then watch your football. Right. And, and, and the elimination chamber. Are you going oh, to? I better not talk about elimination chamber. You, wrestling's fake. Are apparently. you going to be outside the UK on Saturday? What? Uh, what's that? You going to be outside the UK? Ah, uh, East School Bride. East School Bride, mate. Uh, Probably go to Ron's call it snacks now for a go. <laughs> no, that's what my dad said. He was like, You're wrestling in East Coast next week. I was like, He's like, Fancy take me to that Ron's quality snacks. <laughs> I love that wee man. Yeah, I love that wee man. No, no. I want to go here. He's I think like, every single thing he makes it, just looks like burger van. Aye, but, Come on, he's getting a wee bit of a I know, my dad, he's Come going, on. It's good slices, yes, and you can tell it's good. That's good slices, yes. So. I, I agree with your fair. Mm-hmm. I think it does look like good slices. Mm-hmm. I do. I love him how he just like calls things like the chicken Las Vegas, not it's just like uh, a chicken burger. He's brilliant. Why don't Why don't we go one day? <laughs> they should. That could be Patreon. Uh, uh, we're not that far. Think we done that. Daz had done it. See how Daz had it there. Fr- fries everything. He done. He done something with him the other day. Hold on, quality snacks. I'm at the bonnet. Let's See the go. bonnet. Aye. Maybe bonnet beers. Right, cool. Good on him, man. <laughs> Right, this weekend. I could imagine you would have eaten Ron's quality snacks, haven't we? No, I hate right, Ron. No, I think because Ron's really funny, man. I totally feel threatened. Who do you think you're making your jokes, old uh, man? Me and Grey don't pure pissing ourselves laughing, you are. Like, I don't like him, man. Uh, on the way back, do you think he's funny on me? It's your Grey, though. He's, uh, he's just not a nice guy, man. Just imagine Grey. Aye. I just not. Ron's, Ron's not giving me a reason yet. <laughs> <laughs> Toll, well, the reason why I was saying this, Toll sometimes doesn't like folk, doesn't know, Bob? That's so, no sometimes. right. That's, sometimes. That's no right. That uh, is no right. That is nail on head, right? That, is that the way I come across? A wee bit, mate. Ah, you do, I, man. I don't mean to be like that, man. You do, man. You've got... Folk need to prove they're selling me rice fries. <laughs> need to prove that they're, they're dwarf friendly. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm not... Just, fun enough, mate. No, I better not. You working with another No, I'll try to watch... Fucking better, no, be. What's it? I but, thought you were going to say you were working with another no, mate, but Are you talking about the wrestling? No. There you go. Are you talking about... I watched Snow White, but I had to turn it off because it was far too scary for the win. <laughs> all right, okay. What, the mate, cartoon? The evil witch aye, and all that? Mate, getting, the, getting the, the huntsman to go and try and stab a woman. Aye, and take aye, her heart and all aye. that, I was going, oh, no. No, it's quite a dark He's going, oh, scared, scared dad, scared dad. I went, get this off. Aye, aye. Perry's, Perry had to put her vape down for five minutes. <laughs> <years. laughs> You stole it, man! I was just gonna say that, I know! <laughs> she needed a puff of the blueberry ice after the body cattle did. The, no, the, the CBD man. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. That is not funny. Stephanie's gonna chop her. No, no, man. Oh, aye, man. Hey, get it off, too scary. Get in. Get in. Get in, there's chamomile. That'll calm you down. Oh, for Lord. Oh, my for God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! It funny. would it wouldn't it be as funny if it wasn't true. I know, I know, Shut I know. Up, I know. Stop it! That's right. me. I'm like bad. Come on. Stop. Right, this weekend, Hibs at home at Dundee. Who's winning that? Hibs. Dado. What? Hibs and Dundee. Uh, oh, I'll go for, I fancy Dundee then. So they are. I fancy Dundee. They're going good guns, you know. Wow, I always pick Hibs in the another one. Kelly at home at Aberdeen. Kelly. Oh, that's I'm a good. I'm going Kelly for I'm that one. Kelly. I'm going Kelly. I'm going Kelly. I'll go for the each. Ross County at home to Livy, that's a biggie. Mm. That is a... Mm. I want the Livy to do it, man. I want the Livy to do it. I'm sure the last time they played each other, each other I'm sure, did Livingston no win? No. What's the... Oh, see, sorry, sorry for interrupting see, here. Did you see that link that I put in the group chat last night to Derek Adams? I can't go on it because his Facebook, innit? 
I don't know. I couldn't go on it, but I seen go, I heard Gold, it. Gordon Duncan was talking about it on Super Scoreboard last night. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's funny. He said he got the sack after uh, Ross County beat no Fisco. Some beat him twelve 0 Twelve 0 He said he got the sack, and then your options were. Aye. Start again. You, you, but you buy it. Takes you back. It wasn't that good. No. Nah. Nah. Right. So look at this. Let's see this. If Livy beat Ross County, uh, how's it? How's it looking at the bottom is, of the table, Steve? Right, Ross County, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Ross County, Graham, uh, are on eleven, eleventh place on nineteen points. Right. Livy are rock bottom on sixteen. Is that right? And that is a goal difference. Three goals separating them. So if Livy win two 0 they go, they go ahead in them then. Because it's three goals. No, because it? it's a four. Remember, they will lose two, and Livy will gain two. So Livy would go ahead of them with two. Oh, yeah. two Good calculations, man. Hey, hey, hey. Toe Voldemort, man. <laughs> Rain, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely two points. Uh-huh, I'm an excellent driver. Definitely two points. So Livy could leapfrog Ross County. Yeah. Let's hope they do, because I want Livy to stay in the league. I do. I like Martindale. Uh, St Mirren at home to St. Johnston. the pitch, but I don't know. St Mirren mm. at home to St Johnston. Speaking of pitches. Oh, St, St. Johnston's <laughs> pitch. For a game that's on Sky. Mm. And weekend. Sorry, we're well, getting back to that. It was disgusting. For a game that's on Sky, top division, Scottish Premiership, oh, it was awful. That's, right. maybe, that's maybe lends a wee bit of credence to Ben's point about the, the plastic pitches, but how hard is it to keep a bit of grass on a pitch? It must be hard. <laughs> it must be hard. Well, I know that Motherwell used to have problems. Remember, they, remember they was the worst in the, the league? The remember sun, that? The, sun ah, could, the, way, the way the stands were when the sun was mm-hmm. going round, it wasn't mm-hmm. reaching the pitch and it made it. Maybe but Motherwell have got a good partner, haven't they? Oh, oh they? Motherwell's pitch is beautiful. beautiful. Aye. Take a part I liked. Somerset Park. They've always got it looking good. Aye. 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 Somerset mm-hmm. Park. That's the air, isn't it? Mm-hmm. On to Sunday. Motherwell at home to Celtic. Say again. Motherwell at home to Celtic on Sunday. What? Motherwell at home to Celtic on Sunday. <laughs> don't know. But you think? Four each or something like that. I think so. 6-2 to Motherwell. I don't know. See, honestly, I'm, I'm going to the game on Sunday. Are you? Aye. Aye. And um, <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to it. At least I've got a screen it. I'm just seeing so much <laughs> sadness in your eyes now, man. It's honestly, I feel like... We table with Tam Cowan and Crofty and Tom. Aye. Me, Crofty, Tam Cowan. Gordon Dale. Pat Evan. Probably. Probably Lee Miller will be there. He'll probably sit down and have a few stern words with him about you know becoming what? a grander. Congratulations, Lee. Congratulations, Lee. Oh, brilliant. Congratulations, Lee. Aye. Aye. Just kind of part of the same age as me. Do you know what? Vivian, aye. Vivian, aye. Aye. I remember you telling us that all the times before. <laughs> right. He's a bit frosty. Aye, I'm just going to... Right, okay, Chris. Sorry. He's a bit frosty, man. Hey, you make me talk about Selig and this is what happens. <laughs> I think he's basically... I don't know. Celtic are just like a car crash for you now, aren't they? Bob, do you remember? If you have been an accident, it wasn't your fault. Get in touch with G- the team at G4 Claims. What would it do, Chris? They will... I'm not, have you caught me off guard? <laughs> they, will supply, they will supply you. If you're involved in an accident, it's not your fault. Don't be phoning your insurance. Phone G4 claims because they're going to make it easy for you. 0169876172. You've got Al, you've got Grant, you've got Ben, you've got Nicole, you've got Greg. And for the last time, for the last ever. time, if you've been in an accident today, possibly tomorrow, and it wasn't your fault, for the last time, if you phone through on that number, you might get Jam Jar. Jamie. You won't get him because he does the graphics. Ah, he doesn't, he do doesn't deal with the claims, but... Aye, but you know what? He might be passing... He might be passing the phone Aye, when it rings. I know, exactly. You never know. It might, be, never know. It might be the last time you get to talk to Jamie. Exactly. Nah, because he's Tyson Stevenson, so... No. You've pub. never met him before here? Oh, yeah, he served me in the pub once. He was he's small as a pub. Once, or so they're really tight. Once, aye. Must have been selling aye. vapes. Anyway, Jamie's last day <laughs> tomorrow, and... Aye. Good luck with your future endeavours, son. Aye, aye. What, what a gig he's got himself. Fair play to him. Something that he's always wanted to do. And mm-hmm. Jamie, we are very proud of you, mate. Aye. But get in touch yep. with G4 Claims. Not at fault, Claims! Made easy! easy. G4 Claims! Made easy! So we are going to just uh, record a wee bonus episode. If you want to see that, sign up to the Patreon now. Patreon.com uh, and search for A Pint and Two Shots, the podcast, the football podcast. You'll get extra content on there. Loads of um, freebies and other online extravagances. 
to be had. What, so what's a freebies apparently? I've not. I don't know any freebies that we that's give. False out. advertising in it. Ah, yeah. well, I'll get <laughs> but you'll give him a free grade. I'll get him a free. I don't know. I <laughs> see. But come Saturday night at the wrestling, I'm wrestling at Ballarat Paul on Saturday night. Mate, you're just oil. I can't wrestle now. I know. I, I, I know. You was... brought. You're bringing back a Sunday, aren't you? No. No. Uh, no, I'm not. No. I mean, hey. you might have saw the Ricky that hey. match mean Sunday, man. Was it Larry was before it? Hey. We'll we, nobody be much hey. tonight. We buzz. We'll nobody much out here tonight. A wee bit, aye. You're away with that guy. No, no. I mean, he was all... Mate, this guy was like, New Jersey, do 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 Oh, is he? Aye, maniac. Young, young star. What was his promo like? Was it good? Aye, what was he saying again to me? What was he saying? I couldn't... Grado, you can punch me if you were in a phone box or something like that. So, and then, and come on, son. It's your shit. Hey, who are you wrestling, boy? Who are you wrestling, Davey Proven? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? I could keep a beach ball off you in a phone box. Aye. So. No, but get signed up to the Patreon and you might even see this wee bonus hit we're about to record. All right, guys. This but remember, there's no freebies. No freebies. This has been a pint to show us. I've been Stephen Putton. I've been Crystal. Just yourself. <laughs>